Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out Astronauts. This one just hit early access over on Steam, being developed by Blue Bottle Games and published by Modern Wolf. This is a, it's a spaceship life sim. So we are captain of a ship uh, out in space and we can do whatever we want. Our first goal is to go find a spaceship and get it fixed up. We can go out and hire a crew, do some various jobs and uh, just sort of live our life out, out in space. So, I thought we should try this thing out, and let's jump in here. We'll begin by creating our captain and going to the boneyard and, and uh, trying to salvage some parts up to get a ship. Maybe dock and, and find some crew. There's not a whole lot in here yet. It's pretty early days at this one. But, we'll see how it goes. Um, if you're familiar with Neo Scavenger, very similar idea, I guess. Um, uh, and, and we kind of hope where it will grow and and become something very big as time goes on but for right now it's pretty basic uh let's choose my, my face now so i'm standing in the bathroom we got a, a, a sink here um, i'm vanessa zavala at the moment but i will be a guy and i'll be uh, um i'll be oh yeah the guy, yeah the guy with a with a yeah that guy not vanessa though my name's nook that's what they call me all right so let's go ahead on out here so rather than just going through menus picking up our character we're gonna go well kind of through still through menus we got to develop our character here. we got to build our backstory so go to the career module here and choose our uh, our job we're 20 or, or 18 sorry 18 years old we have 98 dollars in our pocket and we're on ganymede stations where we're sitting right now and we have to go choose a job right now only thing option only option available is shipbreaker so we're gonna pick that and uh here we go we're 19 years old now king of incognito you're drinking at the local watering hole after your shift when you see the unicorn. They're the scion of an Aotimiwa executive. Sneaking out to rub shoulders and butt buggers with a common folk, you wince as they try to pay your round in Yuan. It's dollars for the likes of us, friends. If you're careful they, and lucky, they could be an opportunity. So we have a choice. What do we do? Now, what we're trying to do here is build a backstory. And, and we'll see where this comes in as, as the game goes on. But we can pick the pocket, we can mug them, or we can hack them. Um, let's pick the pocket. Their mark, if ever there was one, you might as well have a target embroidered on the back of their bamboo silk tunic. You wait until after the fourth round when they swagger back, stagger back from the head, make your move. Brush into them on the way out. They didn't notice a thing. Look at that, we got 500 bucks now. We picked 450 bucks up from that thing. We didn't gain any uh, any notable contacts, any enemies or anything, but we did get some perks or some skills, I mean, um, all along the way there also. Uh, we're 20 years old now, midway through scrapping yet another hulk. The cockpit of your allotted salvage pod lights up with red telltales. Suddenly you're under thrust as one of the engines sends you spiraling away from the hulk's orbit into the black... It's unresponsive. Nobody has the fuel to come save you. You're expendable. If, you're up... if you want to live, what do you do? Abandon ship, troubleshoot the engine, or hack the engine. Um, let's, let's hack. Oh, we can be like a... Let's be like a, like a crafty guy. Let's go and troubleshoot that engine. Oh, this... It's a known issue on the Ming Shen Alpha series. You've got to reroute the power through the axial breakers and and trigger the interrupt request from the thrust control module, of course. Same time you hit the manufacturer's security keys and simple. Lucky this happened to you. Someone else might have been in serious trouble. So we did that. We've gained no cash, but we got skill in spaceship piloting for doing that. Um, next up, we're at 21 years old. Shady deal. You're approached by a coworker with a shady scheme to make some money. A big take if you can pull it off, but here's the risks. There are risks. Uh, yeah, we'll do some risks, sure. It's a trap. Since you're naivete, your partner makes off of the loot and leaves you holding the bag. Caught with local authorities and sentenced to the heart to do hard time. We've made ourselves a new enemy. Adam King, bartender from the Labyrinth on Mars, is no longer our friend. Okay, we're at the water hole. Same thing. Um, we can riot, seduce them, or hack them. Let's uh, let's hack them. Okay, password is Rosebud. You took them a drink if you're, you're nursing. Well, at least it isn't password. So we, uh, we upload their contents to the dark web, and uh, I guess we made some cash. We made a lot of cash, I think. $2,800. Wow. We got a new enemy in Maria, the, uh, the manager of the station on Ganymede, which is where I'm docked right now. That's a bit of a problem. All right, we're scrap scrapping to the Hulk. Um, take the stick. Okay, we fly around again. It's some innovative flying. Judicious timed burns of your RCS. You slowly nudge your orbit nearer to that of an oncoming ore caller or hauler. So we, uh, we bail out, they hook you on the way past, slowly reel in the tether. Excellent. Humiliating. That's fine. No skills for that one. Back at the watering hole again. Let's go ahead and, and hack them again. We're just waiting. Basically, we do this a few times, and we'll get some pop-ups that will give us a ship eventually. We said we made ourselves a new enemy in Joseph McCarty, another manager on the uh, on Ganymede. And uh, he happened across an ad for a salvage pod. 
I'm, what, 26 years old now. i got $6,000 in my pocket. Quite rich from the last game I was playing. I had like 100 A little more than a tin can with maneuvering jets and life support, but it'll get you around the K-Leg Boneyard well enough. More importantly, it could be a means to avoid long lines at the day labor berth and avoiding the salvage tax levied by our yard transports. I'll take the ship, yeah. Okay, now proud owner of our salvage pod, and you can re now reach some of the outer derelicts beyond the watchful eye of the yard masters. Maybe with some replacement parts, elbow grease, and a little luck, one of those hulks could be made space-worthy. Technically, I'd be stealing from the junkyard. Stealing junk, but still stealing. Our master, uh, Eddie Yimmy, won't like it when he finds out. It's okay. All right, we got it. We got ourselves a, uh, a, a ship. We have a bit of a backstory. We got a couple enemies that we've made in, in, in the past. We'll find them out there in space somewhere. But we have the um, Salvage Pod Tut Class J-U-A-E-2-R. All right, let's go. Now, before we head out to the pod, which is just out these doors, we're going to do some self-care, and we can go in here and sort of develop our character a bit. We get some random stats to start with. We begin with we're feeble and f fragile, immunosuppressed. Uh, yeah, we're great. We're great. Visually impaired, uh, but we're charismatic. And oh, we're a genius as well. Okay, we can add a few more things. we got three points to spend, so we can add a couple things in. Maybe I'm beautiful. Um, there's a lot of these to pick from. I'm going to go with, um, you know, or an optimist. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we got all this stuff, we got to be an optimist. Uh, we're going to be... Um, uh, we'll be a trusting fella. Is that a good thing? And and we're going to be... Um, we're going to be loyal. That's the kind of guy we are. All right, we can take him away as well. You can see we got... Like, we take away Amy Suppressed if we wanted to. But no, no, it's fine. These all do different various things. We, uh, it's only a friend since we have trouble falling asleep and staying asleep. Um... Okay, we want to go in here, not in solid conduits. We can go, so we can also click on our character and we can do all kinds of Sims-like things. It is a it is a life sim after all. We remember our family. It's Sarah Longingly had an old photo. <laughs> Which picks up, you know, perks me up a bit. Makes me happy and all that. Uh, we got a supply, supply kiosk here we'll go ahead and mess with. We do want to pick up some things. So we we basically have nothing at the moment. We've got 6,000 bucks though. And that's where doing that background stuff is, is good at finding what you're going to get. So we need some drinks. Um, we got some nacho, nacho fiesta chips or something. I'll take some of those. Oh, I got two of them. I'll take some Kung Pao chicken. Excellent. Uh, an EVA suit would be nice to have, but it's seven grand. Um, but there is some... I'll take some whole patches, actually. I'm going to grab a couple of those. And I'll take a crowbar, in case I don't have one yet. A couple conduits, just to kind of stuff my pockets with some things. Work lamp, I'll take one of those. Maybe two of those. I'll take two of those. Um, fire extinguisher, probably a good idea. O2 bottle, yep. EVA battery, sure, sure. Um, some coveralls. Do I have, I have clothes on right now. I'll take a drill, a pressure suit, and a pressure helmet. Okay. And that's, I think that's good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Laser torch, do I need that? Well, we'll stick with what we got here. Okay, so I got four grand. I'm happy with that. I'm a little loaded down. I guess I carried too much stuff. I'm a little way down. Alright, so, oh, probably because I'm weak or something. Let's go ahead and launch our ship. So we're off into, if I can push the right button. We are off into our salvage pod. You happen across an ad for a salvage pod. That's what we did. We got the tin can. That's us. Let's launch. And away we go. Welcome to my ship, which is not quite my, my ship yet. It's just a, just a salvage pod. We'll go out to a, a, a shipyard and pick something up. But we're going to go look at, look back at the barracks where we found... We, the name we, all all the, our life, we lived in Ganymede, but not anymore. So welcome to my, uh, my pod here. Uh, this is it. We've got, you can see most of the stats up here. We've got a battery there. we got an extra battery up this way. We've got a conduit and a intake regulator. There's a nav system up that way. We've got a heater over here. And this is the airlock down this way. I'm starved of int intimacy. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so first thing we need to do, there's some sort of goals that kind of lead you through to, like, help you out. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to drop... Oops. Uh, whoops. We're going to drop um, a couple things because I'm weighed down. Let's get this work lamp on. We'll crank this thing on and set it on the ground because it's going to get dark in here real soon. Uh, we'll put down uh, my food, I guess. We can set. I got two. Did I buy two pressure suits. Oops. Whoops. We'll put the pressure suits down. We can always pick them up in a minute. Put those down. I think we're good. Moderate load now. Oh, because I'm because I'm frail. I'm feeble. Oh man. Terrible. Um, all right, we'll drop the conduits. I'm sure they weigh a ton. Uh, you going on the ground? There you go. The battery, sure. We'll throw all this stuff on the ground just to make sure. I bought two drills, too. Maybe I came with one. Um, 
Yeah, I got two helmets also. <laughs> yeah, I'm prepared. All right, well, you know what? Maybe I don't want to drop it. Fine. Put it on the ground. All right, whatever. Uh, ooh, that's why. Okay, um, let me go ahead and come over to this battery here. And we're going to unhook this battery. Do it real fast. So you can see the bottom bar is us actually doing the job. We're going to unhook that thing because uh, it has very little power in it. You can see up there it's got 15 uh, kilowatt hour, whatever the charge is in it. That's why we have that light on there. So we're going to come over here. Oops. We're going to come over here. And we're going to go grab this battery. Uh, actually, I'm going to drop this one I've got right now. If I can. I uh, probably can't. Let me... Um, if I can. Where's that battery at? Battery, 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 battery. Where'd it go? Battery? Um, I'm sure I'm just blind and sure I'm just missing it, but I don't know where it is. Um, oh, I didn't pick it. Did I not pick it up? Pick the battery. Okay. Now we're gonna go make our way over here. We're very we're very heavy. We're also start of intimacy. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Uh the battery's gonna go onto the ground, and we're gonna pick this one up if I can. Pick that one up. Can I rearrange some things? Throw this on the ground. No, because there's no space. Um, there we go. Put this one on the ground. Okay, so now I got a nice charged battery here. The game's just sort of... It's a tutorial time, you know. It's kind of just sort of showing me things around. Uh, we're going to pop that battery in. Install that guy. Right there where that one was. Okay. You pull out the old drill and get to work. And we'll see in a moment. That will have power. This battery. There we go. Excellent. Come on, come on. Um, excellent. Don't, don't mind the ship. It's, it's a hideous mess. I know, I know, I know. All right, so let's go into the nav station and fly around. All right, we got a little helpful menu here. It's a bit, it's a bit much. Uh, we're outside Ganymede at the moment. So we're at the station, Ganymede station right there. And my ship is this little blue guy right there. We can use Wazzy to sort of, to sort of turn myself around and sort of fly my ship however we want. We're not docked at the moment. We're just sort of sitting out in space. We have the planet sector. We have the inner planets, I think is what that was, and then the outer system. We're in solar system. Um, Earth, I think, is that one, which I guess is sort of like a desolate wasteland at the moment. But what we want to do is we got a couple choices. I guess we can come and we can we can go to the station. We can also go out to one of these derelict ships out here and try to hunt for something to have a ship rather than this little pod. We can also like go outside of of you know long range kind of stuff. But for right now, we don't have a lot of power, so we're just gonna go make our way over to I think over to here. Um, actually, you know we could probably go. This one's on the line. Let's go to that one and let's start Wasdy. Just start making our way there. Some of velocity, the range, we're 58 kilometers away. We're going to very slowly make our way that way. Crank up the speed a little bit. And we'll get there. We're not going to crash. Because, um, well, we do that a lot. But we're going to do our best to not crash. I've crashed many, many times. We're going to get, as soon as we get a little close to this thing, we're going 32, uh, 30 kilometers away. We will start slowing down. Turn a little bit more so we can get... Whoops. Too much turn. Too much turn. This is like half the game is trying to figure out how to fly these things. Okay. Let's go this way. Make sure we get a little more lined up here. Um, once we get to this... Get into here, we're going to have to go and do some... Real fine piloting skills. We're going to slow it down. Okay. We can actually just kind of... I suppose we can go back. Can we back into this thing? I'm not sure we can. But maybe that's how we dock. I've done it before, but I don't remember how I did it. <laughs> uh, okay, nice. Nice, and you've got a proximity warning. A little bit closer. Okay, now let's slow it down. Let's go to this docking controls over here. Select docking cart target. We want the question mark. Dock, please. Accept. Now we got to line this thing up. I'm still kind of flying this thing. Using the WASD to line this guy up. And we got to line up our docking bay with the hatch of this thing. As soon as we can, we're gonna we're gonna hit the clamp, engage. So we're moving in. We're at two point seven, two point six. We've got a little ways to go. Let's let's just so rather than speed it up. Whoop! Easy does it. 
line this thing up. Man, it's like shooting wolf rats back home. Easy does it. <laughs> I'm terrified. I've blown my ship up too many times by trying to practice this thing. Okay, there we go, there we go. We're one kilometer away. It does automatically kind of dock with us though, so it's not it's not completely um, impossible. Are we good? Are we good? Come on, come on. Hey, come on, come on, come on. We're there. Nope, why are you going that way? There we go. Nice and easy. I think. Okay, we're just waiting for this guy to go. We're basically there. We're going the, we're going the wrong way. Oh, 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 I, I pushed the wrong button. I had it, I had it, I had it. There it is. Clamp. Clamped. Excellent. Okay, we're there. Let's go in here. So before we should go there, though, there are a couple things we should do. Um, let's go ahead and pop on the old pressure suit, just in case there's no oxygen there. We'll get the pressure suit helmet on, cover my face, and we're going to get a... Uh, where's my suit at? Did I drop both of those on the ground? I think I did. Uh, where are they? Is that it right there, I think? Yeah, pick that pressure suit up, pop that guy on. So now we are... Oh, here. Oh, I think I can't take that off. There we go. And where'd that suit go? I lost the suit. Um, there it is. There we go. Now we got it on. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get crowbar in hand. And let's leave the PDA thing behind. I'm not sure. I don't think I need that thing. Uh, maybe I do. Let's keep it. We'll keep it with us. But we're going to grab and put a, uh, a drill in the other hand. You know, just so we're prepared and all that. Uh, we do want to actually, you know what? Instead of the drill, I want a light in my hand. It's already on. Let's go over this way. I'm gonna open the doors. Okay. Don't forget to close your airlock door. I don't know why the future is is doesn't like automated doors. In case there's no in case there's no oxygen here, we should. Ooh, this place is trashed. Close that airlock up. Now, open that door. The door doesn't budge. So let's go ahead and and. Uh, Grab out the old crowbar and pry that door open. There we go. Come in, come in. Okay, let's go in. Can I even make it there? Oh, this is like holes in the floor. This ship is is a piece of junk. Can I patch that? We can repair that door, that floor, maybe. No, maybe we can like throw a patch on it. Just so we can get over here. Here we go. So we can just get over here. Oh, I can't, I can't even get through this one because there's, there's too much, too much broken junk. But I want to get in here. That floor is damaged also. Everything's broken. All right, let's make our way over here very carefully. So we've got a heater over here. If we needed some extra parts, we could we could take those. Um, we got a battery here, which does have a full charge. There's a power switch. Hey, does that actually work? Um, nope. Power on, but nothing's happening. Alright, this place is trashed. We can see there is some power things over here. We can actually build things. If we want to go build, like, uh, some floor and hole and power bits, and we can build all that stuff if we have the pieces for it. Um, let's see if we can make our way around here somehow. The floors are, are pretty well trashed, but there's something I want. There's a little nav station there. Um, this is kind of a tiny, this is a really tiny ship. This is much bigger than what I've got. Um, so I guess what we're just going to take is... Let's just pick up a bunch of junk. Pick up some scraps. That's fine. I don't scrap. No, no, no. Don't do that. Just pick up some... Um, not the trash. If we needed a heater, we could take that. I probably will take this... Uh, what's that? There's an air pump. Which is off. Which I don't think I need at the moment. Um, I do want to take... We could just completely strip, strip this thing down. I don't, think, I don't see any more doors here. So let's just grab this battery. Can always use another battery. Is there a box in here, like a container of some kind? That would be nice to have. It's gonna take a while. 
pop that battery out. We'll toss it into our ship. Just have a backup. And let's go ahead and pick it up. Okay. We're very weighed down now, which happens. It's fine. We're going to head back into our ship here. We're going to leave some of our... Mm, I don't want to leave this behind. I want that floor. Can I scrap it? Uh, no. Fine, fine. Let's go over here, and we'll close that door. Okay, and let's go ahead back over this way. Close our door. I wonder if I can build. Oh, I have some scrap bits. Can I build a container? Our HVAC furniture. Not a bed. Fridge. Toilet. Um, I can make a little nav station if I wanted to. I cannot make... It looks like a, a box. Which is what I wanted. Nope. So we're just going to be... Uh, we're just going to have a lot of junk laying around. Uh, it is an extra battery, though, and I don't mind having that. We can always just toss it in here in the airlock. What's wrong with that? Nothing, I say. As long as it doesn't get in the way of the doors. So let's go... Uh, let's put that battery on the ground. Here we go. Nice place for a battery, I think. Close that door. Okay, and let's make it... Is it going to close? Um, yeah, you don't need to close if you don't want to, I guess. All right, let's hop in the nav station here and let's use it. All right, so now we are... Same thing, we're back here. Ooh, there's a couple of ships out there we can we can chat with, I suppose. Um, we got a couple more of these things. We can always go to that station and try to pick up a crew, but I don't, like, I don't have room for a crew. So let's just go to this one that's just uh, space south of us. And we got to make sure we undock. Oh, I should take my helmet off. Shouldn't I? Ah, oh, I can breathe. That was loud. Okay. The pressure suit, that one doesn't give you any oxygen. Like, there's a limited amount of oxygen in there. I mean, I guess they're all the same. But that was a little worse than, than others. Pop that on the ground. And uh, we'll use my PDA in, the, in, on, in there. So let's grab this thing and use it. And we're going to fly down here if we can. Now, I should say, this game is, is so far it's very buggy, from what I have found. Um, I would like to dock menu. I want to go back here. I want to I want to undock. I forget how to do this. Oh yeah, clamp engage. No, no. No more engage. Um, I forget. I forget the button. Um... Um, talking target, that one, pushback, yeah, accept, okay, so it's aligned, Not, no longer engaged, okay, we're slowly making our way away from there, back to the nav controls, we want to go to that system, that spot right there, so let's go ahead and spin this guy around, now we gotta be careful not to run into this thing, so spin this guy around real nice, and slow like, and then jump over to here. All kinds of things we can change around here. Map controls and the RCS. We can change the tracking, what we're targeting, you know. Um, there's a lot of things we can do here. We're going to go this way. And sort of make our way okay, very carefully over to this guy. See if we can find a real, a real ship, not, not something like what we had there. Okay, what are we at? We're at four four kilometers. We're actually coming in pretty good here. Let's go to the docking. Um, I want to select docking target. That guy right there and dock. Accept. There it is. Easy does it. Let's going to use WASDI here to line this guy up. That proximity warning is real annoying. But I think I'm a bit of a pro now. I should say that after I dock, not before. I don't know what else in the game as far as uh, as alien, enemy, paranormal, anything like that. Any neo scavenger kind of things. I, I'm sure they're all in there somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure uh, what's in there yet and what's planned. I, I know there's things planned, but I'm not entirely sure. I think the general idea, though, is it's supposed to be it's, it's a it's a it's a life sim, right? Not a um, not a, not a horror game or anything like that. Um, Alright, so we're back over here. I think because the battery's in here, which is why the door's not shutting. So we're going to have a problem if all of our air leaves. But it's okay. What's the chance that that's going to happen? Let's pop on the old hat. 
and the old uh, the old suit. Nope, nope. Take off the old suit. Pop on the new suit, and um, I would like to shut that door. Please, I think it's that battery is <laughs> in the way. Okay, let's close that door. No, no, no. Close the door. Okay, that'll work. Oh, it's dark. Where's my lamp at? Turn that guy on. Okay, now we're on a bit. Ooh, we're on a much bigger ship. Ah, nice. What is that? Just some floor bits. We got some containers here, eh? What's in the con What's in the container? Nothing. Nothing. Can I? Do I need to open you? Access lock. Oh, it has a lock on it. We don't want to do that. Can we just like pry it open? Cut it open. Oh, I got a story. Oh, I remember that from the demo. So we get like. We get stories for like for talking to people. So when we go hire a crew, we we'll have to tell them stories, and uh, and that's where that's gonna come in. Well, they're like little perks to help us chat. I don't think we're getting in here. Um, let's just bash it. Tell the story how we bashed a crate, and we got nothing out of it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> looks like there's oh there is there is things in there. Oh, look at that! I could have just opened it up. I uh, got some whole patches. We can replace our, our ones we lost. And we've got, what's that? Oh, hey, EVA battery. I'll take that. We got a couple stories. Sharing a couple story there. What's that? Local authority closing fast. Why? What are they doing that for? Fusion reactor is off. Can I turn it on? Oi. Oi. Oh. Um, I remember there's a there's a thing to this. This is in the uh, the um, the demo also. I don't remember what it was, though. I just want to push some buttons. I don't, nothing's happening here, though. Yeah, we got to go through like a. We had to go through like a like that, and make sure things were working like we wanted to. But um, I don't know the buttons for it, so we're not gonna touch it. We got some batteries over here. Look for a light switch. Oh, lots of batteries. This is actually a pretty good looking ship. This could be our ship if we, if we chose. Open that door. Pry that door open. Let's see what we can find in here. What are you? Air pump. Is there oxygen in here? Temperature? No, no, uh, I don't think so. Thermostat. We got a cooler. Let's open that door up. Oh, let's pry that door up. Okay. This is our oxygen canister. There's just a little room just for that. Um, this seems like to be all the engine bits back over this way. I, um, I'm sure I missed it. There's got to be some sort of a, a power switch somewhere around here. Another oxygen tank over here. Here's the heater, which we can crank on if we need to. Let's, uh, let's pry that one open. This is the, uh, the helium canister. Some stuff going on back over that way, too. Go open this one up. I'm a little concerned about those ships that were flying around. What are they? What are they doing? Let's let's pry that open. If we had power, we could we could do this. Which I don't know if we do or not. Conduits and some um, intake and all that. Let's go out this way. Let's head on over here. What are you? O2 pressure alarm. There's going to be a bridge or something around here. There's a reactor. Which we can crank on once we know our buttons. Um, there is just some junk on the ground here. Oh, wait, that's like a... Oh, a pin, 6202. Huh. What's that get me? Pry that one open. Okay. Oh, here's an av. Okay. I'm going to bash it. I want to find the power switch. Where's the light switch? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got to pry it. All right, no power. Come on, pry the doors. Okay. Oh, I got a couple beds. Oh, nice, nice. Let's pry that guy open. Looks like this side of the ship is a little more damaged. Or is a lot more damaged than anything else. There's a sink there. There's a, a toilet. Where are we going? Where am I going? I didn't say go back there. Um, I don't see... 
I must have missed it. There's got to be a button around somewhere. It could be. It could be. It's got to be somewhere around here. This is this. This is the switch. This is the uh, the the reactor. There's conduits going over here to the batteries, uh, and then they run off this way. The keys came from there. It might have been. It would be in the bathroom. Where's like the? We saw the nav nav room. Did we go this way? Pry that one open. Where are you trying to go, buddy? What's that? A fridge. Hey, is there some food in there? Search for food. Get some food. I got some food. What do we get? I got, um... I don't know. I think I had the Kung Pao chicken before, but... Okay. Add that to one of your stories. That's exciting. Let's go mess with this reactor before we, uh, before we end it here. Batteries do have a charge. It might have been something over this way. The fusion reactor. Mess with it. So when you go through this ignition sequence, you had to go through all this stuff. So the power bus needs to be put it on battery. I think this is where we want it. There. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, okay, okay. Let me put these things back where we were. Um, no ignition yet. Uh, let's turn everything off for right now. Uh, cryo. Okay. Fuel regulator. Where's the fuel regulator? Fuel. That one? Fuel coils? Uh, coils. Are you a coil? You are? Three or two? Sure. Um, now what? Ignition? Oh, I think it's working. I think we're working on battery power. We can adjust this, I guess, if we want to. Things are shaking now. Let's not, let's not mess with that. Okay, okay. Now, we do have power. Look, there's lights. Now, where's that nav system? Let's go find it. It was over here, right? Weird place for navigation. It's off. How do I turn it on, though? I'm not sure if I can fix that. I don't know where I'm going. Hmm. Well, I think we should call it a day here anyway. So that's what we're going to do. But we got the reactor going. Um, everything seems to be working. But the uh, the navigation system is not. I wonder if I could take my navigation system from my ship and pop it in here. And then just fly this guy. I wonder. Anyway, we're calling it a day here. This is Astronauts. It's available on Steam now in early access. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.